All right, welcome back, everybody, to um, the Clash Bash. This is the top eight second game between Eric's and Teppa, and we're excited to excited to jump into it. I am Elaine Hammondtree, and I am joined here by Mo Bogsley. I wasn't sure if you're going to introduce me or wanted me to. <laughs> We're so Sorry, good at this. Do, yeah, yeah, I do know your name. I'm joined here by <laughs> Mo Boxley. As usual, we're usually sitting here together. And yeah, I'm excited to jump into game two. Game one was won by Eric's on Ira against Teppa on Kano. As we know from this league, Teppa is a wizard enjoyer, or at least seems to be. So, all right, let's jump into game two. All right, so we have an Icelander mirror here. Um, I even played a ton of Ice Line of Mirrors. I do know for most wizard battles, uh, it's like a slugfest, and normally one player tries to grind out the tempo. Uh, the game starts a few turns in. Both players played Wounded Bull and Findel's Fighting Spirit. Wow. Okay. That's huh. cute. I mean, yeah. Yeah, so 12 to 16, it looks like, and a Fighting Spirit is being thrown by Teppa for nine. So we're starting to match at 13 to 12. Looks like Teppa's used his Goliath Gauntlet already, and Arex still has those up, and another Fighting Spirit. This is straight up just attack heavy Iceland Mirror, it looks like. Yeah, I'm I'm because this is Clash, and I think there's only Oh, so this is the second Bindle's Fighting Spirit then from Peppa? I believe this would be the second, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, and one thing to note, well, one, Teppa just dropped really low, uh, but without Storm Shiders, it's a lot harder to insta-kill your opponent out of nowhere. So I do think this will be a slower, more grindy matchup because of that. Yes. Um, so this is Teppa's turn right now. I yes, Teppa's turn. Okay, all right, catching up, the wizard mirrors. We really need a little turn-like indicator on the screen to let everybody at home know whose turn it is. Not us, of course. We are professionals. <laughs> right, of course, obviously, always. Winter's Bite, though, one of the classic Lexi cards that Icelander toyed with a little bit. Oh, I love a Winter's Bite. It's really aggravating, honestly. And Teppa is going shields down here, activating Waning Moon mm -hmm. and throwing an Aether Arc. So tons of Arcane coming over. And you're actually expecting it, pitching two blues. Well, I believe it was an Aether Ice Vein and an Ice Eternal. <sighs> oh, but we have the red Aether Ice Vein from Arsenal back on Arex's turn. That is a good card. It looks like we can't tell if it's fused or not based on our information. I would have to assume that it is fused, though. Even if it's not fused, five damage coming over when you're at eight and you only have 83 is terrifying. Yeah, that's a lot of... <laughs> Oh, it looks like it was not fused because Teppa AB three'd it and didn't discard a card. Mm. Back over to Teppa's turn. And interesting to note, Arex did not Wayne Moon there, so they wanted to keep the last card in their hand. We have an Ice Eternal. This is a um. Icelander specialization card. Yeah, it looks like X equals three, and they did reveal an ice card. It popped up in the top left corner uh, for future fuses. That's where to look. We all have three frostbites and three damage. Yeah, and Arex is debating if they want to play the card from Arsenal now, Wayne Moon now, take any game actions before this resolves. And these wizard mirrors are all about timing and making sure you play your cards at the best window possible. And yep, there's Arex playing the blue scolding just for damage, but 
Like you're at six. Four damage is a lot. Yeah, at six and I have pitched two two blues already, so. There's the last blue. So Tappa is now shields down at five. Lanny Moon could put them to two if that's the play they want to do. Uh, with no Storm Striders in this matchup, you really don't have to be scared about getting killed on your opponent's turn if they don't have an arsenal. No way to cheat anything out. So Arax is fine to go shields down here, knowing that no extra damage can be thrown at them. And Ice Eternal resolves. Three damage coming over, and Arax says, I'm just going to pay for it all. I like being at 12. I like the nice, healthy life lead. I have to imagine if I'm Irex, I'm just going to Arsenal pass because I really can't fight through those three Frostbites. So giving all the tempo back to Teppa. Teppa down to two life already. Yeah, two life already, and this frost tax might be a little too late, but if Teppa can stabilize, that can slowly ping down AOX's life total. Yeah. This is always the scariest part in the Wizard Mirror, is just trying to go to the end of turn. All you want to do is arsenal and be alive, and you never know if your opponent's <laughs> going to stop that. Yeah, Wizard Mirror is not one that I have any experience playing, but I'm sure it's one that you have a lot of experience playing as a wizard. Enjoy it yourself. Oh, it, it's terrifying. Every turn you're like, can I move to my end step? Am I safe to not die this turn? Uh, it's just, you're always on edge in these mirrors. And I'm sure if I was in Tempo seat or Axis seat, every game action you take is a terrifying one. Um, Polar Blast here is kind of interesting. Uh, target opposing hero may pay one. If they don't, their next attack gets dominate and it draws a card. We have seen Wooded Bull. We have seen Fighting Spirits. So I'm not sure if there's more attacks that might gain dominate and just kill Teppa. Yeah, we've got Teppa uh, responding to this, it looks like, with an Aether Hail from Arsenal. Aether Hail, one of the perfect cards for Arsenal. Uh, the cost curve that lets you activate your staff and play that with off one blue is just so much value. I do have to think that the extra pitch will go to the, the nine dominate, but it looks yeah, like it paying, didn't. Paying through that frostbite. Waiting Moon, the perfect card to break that Frostbite. You also need to break that Frostbite because you are under Frost Hex now. So every one of those Frostbites will deal your damage at the end of the turn. Ooh, popping the Goliath Gauntlet. This is going to be a big dominated, or a, a big attack. <sighs> Yeah, I really hope Tapa paid one for that Dominate. Otherwise, it, I do see the icon in the bottom left, so I do not believe Tapa paid for the Dominate. No, this is six Dominate. <laughs> not the biggest number, but when you're at two, it is big enough. Maybe there's a Sigil that will save Tapa here? Ready Moon gets activated. Mm -hmm. Arex pays for it. Wow, it's over! Yeah, that wow, was that was it. such a wow. fast game. Yeah, that was really fast for, wow. a, for a wizard mirror. Right, let's cut back over to the booth. We'll be right back. Yeah, so Arex just takes down both those games. You're really showing who the wizard enjoyer really is with those amazing Icelander skills. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've seen Teppa put, put out some great games on these heroes, too. So just to see... To see Arex take him down. Congratulations. This is great. Yeah, moving on to the top four. So I'm sure we'll see more of Arex in the future. 
And for Tappa, if you're a big Tappa fan, I'm sure they will be back in the next season of The Clash Bash. I'm a Bogsley. You can find me on Twitter, YouTube. Just type in a Bogsley. I'm sure I'll show up. Elaine, where can we find you? Uh, you can also find me on, on Twitter under E. Hamontree. I also have the Pitch Perfect podcast and the Rainbow Pitch League. And all of that is in my bio. So I'm just around doing doing stuff. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Mm-hmm.